This is the 39 conversion in my Yugo 53. I found some more lacquer coated 39. We're going to test it out. See what kind of reliability we get. Maybe I should stand up and see what I can do. There we go. When you when you actually can see it, I'm not going to feed it. It's a 50 round belt. We'll see if it draws itself. Well, that was pretty cool. We're going to pause it. I'm going to get a new belt. All right, let's try a 100 round belt. For information, the last round on that previous belt did not feed. But 49 to 50 is still pretty freaking good. All right. Let's give it a whirl. We have it looks like is the belt when it got to the second belt the weight it didn't couldn't pull it now this is a crew serve weapon so in reality and if you notice the rounds are moving a little bit in reality you would probably have somebody feeding you this ammo and you'd have less problems but I got a gentleman that's helped me with a camera and he can't be in two places at one time. Let's give it a whirl. Now that was satisfying. Pause that. Oh, what pure joy. After uh, we went cleaned up, after we did this, we found several live rounds on the ground. What had happened is on the 100 round belt that I said it didn't pull it through, I'd say more than likely what happened is a couple rounds fell out while it was running. And when it got to the empty spaces in the belt, that's why it stopped. Because other than that, we didn't have any stoppages. We had one failure to feed on the last round. It took me about uh, three or four hours of tinkering to get this to work. So you decide if you want the kit or not. But if you can get it to run, you're going to save a shitload of money. Thanks for coming to the channel.